I'm just going to start off this video by saying, <clears throat> <clears throat> dang, um, I'm just going to start off this video by saying I did find out something like really sad. So like in the beginning of the video, I was like really dead, but I do kind of wake up throughout the video um, and I'm just going to just let you guys know that since I found out something sad, I just wanted to talk. So I was just kind of like venting. Or whatever so this video may get a little boring here and there but um yeah what's popping y'all i mean like what's really good it's your girl care back at it again with another video today i'm shining 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 yeah got on this velvet top people tell me i look like a fashion nova model today at school like okay Whatever you say. I'm getting a little rusty, crusty, musty. We gonna get through it. Um, my eyebrows aren't even, like, at all. But it's okay. The reason why I decided to sit down here and film is because I just found out something, like, really sad. And I was, like, walking around the house, like, all mopey. No one's here with me right now. Um, so, yeah. I just decided, you know... Let's get on camera. I'm going to hype up a little bit, do some makeup, and we're going to calm down, relax, chill out. Because I'm not trying to start my spring break off real down and mopey. Like, it's spring break, okay? I'm done. I got a week off of school just to chillax. So, we're going to do that. So, if I do seem like a little out of it today, that's the reason why. But I really just wanted to come on here and cheer myself up and, you know have fun and do some makeup and I always like when I'm feeling sad or like when I'm bored or whatever I always do like my makeup and like practice I was gonna do it anyway so why not record it for y'all <laughs> see I was thinking about y'all you see we're here with it white on rice remember that so I just took off my makeup um using my micellar cleansing water um, this is the little mini travel size one. I always like when I get new products to get the travel size stuff or the smallest one possible so that I can try it out and see how I feel about it. But I actually really like it and it works pretty decently. I didn't actually wash my face, but I did cleanse it with this. So I'm just going to use my foundation mixture. Um, I have my matte and poreless foundation by Maybelline but I mix 360 and 355 together to get my perfect shade I guess this video is kind of like a first impressions but yeah I have a whole bunch of new products that I haven't tried yet it's not gonna be a full face of first impressions but I did also get the travel size Mario Badescu I think I'm saying that right facial spray and I got the rose water one um, it smells really good. I'm going to spray the face real quick. And that feels really nice. And I can just apply some on the face. I wish, kind of wish I was doing a live, but I don't really have that big of a following now. So like if I was on live, like no one would be watching. Um, but I wish I could have like a conversation with y'all, like a, a real conversation, like y'all, well, I can have a conversation now, but like y'all can't respond right now. I have been using this foundation for a minute and when I do wear foundation, this is the foundation that I do reach for. Um, I'm saying that like I have other ones in my collection because I don't I ran out of everything else but yeah typically when I wear foundation this is what I get or when I go to purchase a foundation this is what I purchase but I really do like this foundation I like the finish that it gives um yeah hopefully the lighting isn't too bad I don't have a like real setup I mean obviously I'm filming on my phone but like I have this lamp that I use because the light that is actually in my room um, blew out a while ago. So I just use this lamp. 
so it's really the only lighting that I have in my room it's pretty bright but um I feel like it's really yellow so sorry if the lighting is like weird to you hopefully it doesn't bother you too much the lighting um but yeah so I didn't put on that much um just so I could have like a light coverage I just haven't been liking the look of full face foundation lately I just recently started wearing it again for the longest time like I've just been skipping foundation and wearing concealer only foundation is actually very buildable buildable what buildable if you do want like a fuller coverage than what I have then I'm almost positive that you can achieve it now it's I I think that it's like a semi matte formula light coverage light I can't talk light coverage to medium coverage but yeah so I'm just taking my LA Pro um, concealer this is in toffee and I'm just going to use this under my eyes. But yeah, so I really like the foundation. I like the way that it looks with this concealer, actually. Let me know down below in the comments. This is probably going to go up well after spring break. But let me know down below in the comments where you went for spring break. Or, you know, some people may have their spring break late. So where are you going um, for spring break? Just let me know down below in the comments. I think Mia and my mom and my sister are probably going to end up going like somewhere in Florida um, like we always do for spring break um, and we usually just go like Thursday and Friday like it's usually not all week because my mom still has to work um, and I'm pretty sure my sister still has to work this spring break actually so yeah. But, so the concealer that I'm putting on top of it is just the MAC Studios concealer. But mixed with my LA um, Girl Concealer, which is my Ride or Die Concealer, it actually looks pretty nice. So I'm just going to use my Beauty Sponge. This is actually a Wonder Blender, and I actually really like my Wonder Blender. I've never tried a Beauty Blender, but if it works better than this, like what like I will be shook because I actually really love this sponge all right so my phone had ran out of storage or whatever so I had to erase that my phone is literally always out of storage but yeah I don't remember what I was talking about before but I mean I hope I completed what I was talking about and like completed my statement or whatever but yeah so um, should I do my eyeshadow now? I'm trying to think. I'm just, I just put the Shadow Insurance by Too Faced on my eyelids. I actually really like the primer. But yeah, and I'm going to go into my Aphrodite palette by Bad Habit. And set my lids with Koi. I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro um, setting powder. I really thought that it was gonna take like this last week was gonna be really stressful, which it was. Like one night, I only got two hours of sleep, um, so it was pretty stressful. I had two projects to work on and like turn in work for. Um, one in Spanish and one in Honors Lit, both pretty hard subjects. I had like a unit test in Honors World History, um, which Honors World History really isn't that hard, but I'm gonna be honest, like in my friend's note in the class, I don't pay attention. I don't do my work in the class, to be honest. Like I do, let me rephrase that, I do the most of the work but when it comes to taking notes like I literally just write down stuff I don't pay attention to what my teacher is saying um and different things like that like I don't really for the most part I don't really pay attention in the class I can't even open this really um the night before I just got makeup on my pants the night before when I was working um 
I was really just doing my Spanish project. I didn't really study for honors world history like at all. And if you don't pay attention in the class, like it can really hurt you. I don't, why can I not open this? What the heck? I really want to use this. It's so pretty, but I can't open it. It's by Makeup Revolution. Palette is so pretty. This is the Reload Iconic Neutrals palette. I can't get it open for anything. There's no tape or anything on it. There we go. Yes, we finally got got it open. Only thing that I don't like, I kind of like the clear packaging of it, but then again, like with my palettes, I like to have a mirror. But yes, anyways, I wasn't paying attention in class, and I really had to study. And like all night, I was pretty much working on my Spanish project, and then like last minute at like three o'clock, I was like, "Whoa, I need to study," and that's really not that much time for me, at least. Like study a whole unit moral of the story is like in that class i typically don't get that good of a grade so i was like i'm not prepared for this one at all and i get my grade back today and i got like a freaking 82 and i was like what like i'm not a cheater i may say that i cheat to be honest but let me like start doing my makeup um actually I think I'm going to take this shade right here. I really like this. What was I talking about? Oh my gosh, it's freaking me out. Oh, I'm not a cheater. Like, I may say that I'm, I'm going to cheat, but I have never cheated on a test. Um, It's not like I'm scared to because, honestly, I come off as a cheater. Not like a... I don't come off as a cheater. I don't know how to explain it, but... Like, if someone came up to you, like, if you knew me in school and someone came up to you and said, like, oh, she cheated off my test, people wouldn't be like, oh, I wouldn't deny it. But, like, honestly, I've never cheated on a test. I didn't cheat. I genuinely, because, like, with me, it's like other people studied. And if I didn't study, if I wasn't prepared, that's on me. Like, I do that with a lot of stuff when it comes to school. Um, I'll be really lazy and, like, come home and I'll know that I have something due or whatever and I just won't do it. But, you know, I'll just... If I come to school the next day and everybody else is, like, prepared, I'll just be like, well, it was my fault. Like, it's on me. It's not fair for me to, like, cheat or try and copy... Well, I'm not gonna lie. I do copy people's work, like, homework and stuff. But, like... On a test, it's not fair for them to have paid attention throughout the whole unit and like actually put in the work and done work and for me to cheat off of them. Like it's either I'm prepared or I'm not. If I'm unprepared, then I'm just going to fail. If I'm um, prepared, then I'm going to pass. I haven't, well, I actually, you know, I was about to say I haven't failed this semester. And y'all are probably like, this is really boring. Like, why is she talking about school? But it's just on my mind. I like to vent. I'm still using the same shade, by the way. I've had the same teacher before. I actually love her. Her name is Miss Moore. Um, I love her personality. She's just really chill, like one of my chillest teachers. Um, it's like a teacher that I can have fun with. You know, like we joke around. I kind of want to stick to this palette by itself, but then again, I have other palettes over here that just want to be used, you know. So, but yeah, so I, I've never really tested well in any of her classes. So she's like the first. How many tests did we take? I think it was the first. Yeah, because this was unit five. The first test that we took. Ooh, this shade is really pretty. Okay, let me like just get what I'm saying out. Like, this shade right here I really like the way that this eyeshadow blended out like it's it looks really nice this last one I got 82 and like I'm really proud of myself like I really didn't pay attention and I still got a good grade so whoa that's real real pigmented whoa oh my gosh that's really pigmented I took we're reading a book in lit and I completely forgot to finish reading my chapters. I was supposed to read to chapter 26. 
um, for a test that we had today and I read only to 18. I was in the middle of chapter 18 and I'm a really slow reader. I was in third block. I have lit in fourth and I needed to read to chapter 26 and I was on 18 and I was freaking out and I got a 75 on 8 but still like that's pretty good. So I got a 75 on 8. I was like okay okay this bake has been on for a pretty long time but I'm still gonna leave it on Ding. oh Easter is coming up I still don't have my Easter dress it's actually Friday and Easter is on Sunday and I still don't have my dress so that's fun um I'm still happy that it's spring break like y'all don't understand it gets to me like school gets to me in a way that like nothing else can like and i'm such a procrastinator like i literally put everything on myself um like me being stressed out and everything like i'm actually tearing up right now like what my eyes are getting watery but i'll take this shade right here but i i'm literally such a procrastinator i'll wait till the last minute and then be like why is school so stressful and like freak out like i'll i'll literally have like five minutes every basic unit test when i'm studying and i'll be like why is school so stressful like it'll be like 12 o'clock at night and I'll just be in my room crying. Nobody else will know. And I'll just be in my room crying, freaking out. And in the end, most of the time, it always turns out pretty good. It's crazy, but I put it all on myself. Like, I'm such a procrastinator. Like, I can't stress that enough. So I showed it looks really good. Now, on camera, it looks really harsh. But in person, it looks really good. You can't even really see, like, the difference in, like, the shades and everything on camera but in person you can and it looks really nice and like really soft like it really I really like the way that it looks so I'm sorry that the camera's not doing it justice I feel like teachers plan to like I don't know let me put up I'm gonna take I think a mix of whoa a mix of this shade it's just like a shimmer shade and this shade and they're both really pretty but like I feel like teachers plan to like do everything at one time and like stress us out on purpose I don't know like because and I stress this all the time like I'll literally get tests done and over with so we're starting a new unit won't have anything to do um and then all of a sudden, actually, hold up. I'm gonna spray my brush with my Mario Badescu spray. But um, so you have nothing to do, and then all of a sudden, I'll have a project due in this class, um, all on the same day, um, a unit test, uh, just all this different stuff at one time, and it's just like where did this come from? Like, why couldn't these be spaced out? Like, I genuinely feel like teachers plan to do stuff at the same time on purpose to like freak us out it just gets real real hectic and i'm like like really now i'm just taking the other shade and putting it on top just a lot all at one time and i'm just like and everything was due on friday like freaking out like what's what's really going on here i'm really gonna run out of storage because i'm only on my eyeshadow and i'm on 25 minutes of the second recording but yeah so i'm probably gonna go off camera for a little bit do my eyeliner and dust this off and then um i'll come back all right so off camera i did some eyeliner and applied some lashes these are the Ardell Wispy Clusters. Um, I'll try and link everything that I use down below. These are um, new lashes and they're actually really pretty. They're really comfortable. Um, and I applied them with none other than the Duo Lash Glue. Um, 
and this is the brush on adhesive I really like this my skin on this camera looks so bad but I promise you in person I look good like like I should be out in a club somewhere you feel me um and then I dust off my bake and I set my foundation pretty sure that's it that I did so we're just gonna take off from there contour using the same duo that I always use by Nika K or Nika K however you pronounce it and this wet and wild brush that is the OG for me to use it's only a dollar I what was I talking about? I don't recall. For the future, um, I do want to do like a lot of hauls on my channel. Like, I love ordering stuff. I love like ordering and then forgetting that I ordered. And then like I'll have like a surprise package waiting on me at the door. Like, I don't know, there's something about it. I just be like, oh, for me? like a gift even though I paid for it I want to do some look up look ups what some look books and everything because I'm really trying to change like my wardrobe because like I have a new found passion for like the sporty Instagram like attire I don't know I'm just really excited for my channel to like, really kick off um in the summer for me to like be able to sit down and like really record and really have time to edit and upload and just like i don't know just have consistency really this is the tarte blush in ornate or ornate and i'm using my um real techniques brush this is the contour brush i see myself doing giveaways and everything like I'm really in it like once I get a job obviously because I'm gonna have to have money to pay for all this stuff but I like really want to like keep the connection between like my viewers and me or um whatever we end up choosing our name to be like I really just want to have the connection like I just want us to be there with it but yeah so I'm gonna try and use this palette to highlight with okay okay but that looks that looks okay to me okay and now i'm going to spray my face again with the mario badescu Ooh, it feels so nice like going on and then I'm just going to go in with my normal highlight, which is just this palette. When you apply it, it's just like, okay, hi there, nice to meet you. Little do they know, I'm using like this little drugstore, like not even drugstore, like I don't even know. Like I only find Mac Studios at TJ Maxx. Is Mac Studios a TJ Maxx brand? let me know because i genuinely don't know it might be because that just makes sense for max studios to be a tj max brand i'm using this little palette to highlight my face and they be doing this and i'll be like and they be like oh and i'll be like okay okay don't boost it then i'm gonna go in with my um better than sex mascara and use this on my lower lashes so for my lips, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Take this one. My lips can shine like my sweatshirt shines and my cheeks shine. What else could you ask me for? What more could you ask for? And yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed and oh yeah, so I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. I have a lot to edit. A lot. Like these long clips. I have a lot to edit. I love y'all.